The proof of a good supervisor, a well-run site, workers and machines operating at their best, and a good health and safety record. As a supervisor, you don't need to be able to drive a lift truck, but you do need to understand the risks involved and the means of avoiding or counteracting those risks. You need to be able to identify bad practice and know enough to evaluate what your experienced operators are telling you. You need to recruit and manage operators you can rely on. You need to ensure the lift trucks are kept in safe working order. You need to be competent in health and safety management, risk assessment and safe systems of work. And you need to know your responsibilities under the relevant legislation. Safe systems will also help you keep tabs on where everyone is at a particular time. Certainly no one should be in an aisle with a narrow aisle truck. And lorry drivers and other visitors shouldn't be left to roam around aimlessly. And of course, pedestrian free zones should be respected. To get the most from your machines, you need good operators. So choose your personnel carefully. They need to be reliable and have a mature attitude to their work. They must be capable of doing the job in a safe and responsible manner. This is not a job for cowboys. They also need to be medically fit to operate a lift truck. This doesn't necessarily exclude workers with a disability, but you need to undertake a risk assessment, taking the disability into account. Here are some reasons why a lift truck might tip over sideways. The load is picked up when not centered properly. The side shift is used poorly. It turns with a raised load. It turns too sharply. It turns on a slope. It tries to lift the load while sideways on a slope. It drives over bumps or into potholes. A lift truck could tip forward if it's overloaded. Tilts forward with load raised. Lifts or raises its load facing downhill. Travels face front downhill. Brakes too hard. Speeds erratically. <laughs>